Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is just Sacred Friday, you're ready to do your Monday, March 23rd, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, in North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Also, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates with you. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get, oh, see the orb, um, notified every time I upload a video. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, information is in the description box below. Alright, let's go, Aquarius. I'm going to grab a couple of cards here and then get a message from my buddies here. Alright. Get the page of swords here. The seven of wands. Remember, energy and time are fluid. This could be past, present, or future, or switch up the rules. I could even be connecting with somebody that's in your household, possibly. You'll know. So don't make it fit if it's not yours. If it's somebody connected to you, like, hmm, it seems like so-and-so's story, then it is. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, the tower. Aquarius. Okay, let's get a message from Spirit, see what's going on. <sighs> save time. They're wanting you to save time somehow. Time. Okay, save time, something about time. That's supposed to mean something to somebody out there. Because I, I feel like it's a, it, it's a message, but it's not what it sounds like. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> like it doesn't mean save time. Well, it does, but it doesn't. If that makes sense. Something to do with time. Time, time as we know it. Time. Hmm. Interesting message. And, and it, you know what they're doing? They're, they're like stopping. Like, because normally. Oh, why do I feel like. Um, that's weird. Um, normally the energy flows through me and they constantly move my body, but purposely they're not moving me. So I almost feel like it's like stopping time, like stop time, save time by stopping time. I don't know who that's going to be meant for. Somebody out there has the ability to stop time. Trust me when I tell you, I believe it if you do. I've had many, many experiences involving time. <laughs> mm, comment down below if this makes sense to you. Okay, it's something about time. And it's interesting, I received a message in 2015 or 16. It might have been 16. 2016 about time like it's time <laughs> but I got those messages um a lot of times I got those messages about time and I am feeling time is speeding up all right now they're now they're agreeing okay time is speeding up oh, I got that right I guess but it's is it about stopping time? Is something they're saying? Yeah, something about stopping time. And this may be why we're slowing down and going on to sort of stop time. Yeah, to recalibrate somehow. 
but somebody out there has something to do with that. Somebody out there is playing a key role in it somehow. Okay, I digress. I, that message is for somebody. This is not for everybody. Okay, so you have the Page of Swords, the Magician, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. <sighs> hmm. Ah, interesting. Aquarius. Ooh, by the way, Saturn just came into Aquarius. Okay. Saturn is the timekeeper. Saturn is the timekeeper. Capricorn is the timekeeper. Okay, you may have Capricorn in your chart, but they just pointed out Saturn is entering Aquarius, right? The age of Aquarius. You're researching how to manifest Aquarius, some of you. Or this is something that you've done or have been doing a lot of um, researching manifestation. How do you be the magician? It's the card of Gemini. Air energy. Yeah, you're seeking clarity and truth on this. It's really, really interesting to you. Time may have something to do with this. You may, uh, some of you may be researching um, time. Because think about time. I mean, time is man-made, really. It doesn't exist in the universe as we know it anyway. Okay, so let's clarify. Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. Tell me about this. Oh, this is a card that flipped over. Yeah, you're shedding light on the art of manifestation. Some of you may be masters at manifesting. You may be freaking good at it. That's the card of Leo. That is also the card. Now, this is an interesting reading. This is also the card of past life soulmate, right? And past life, if you think of it in terms of, as we note in the third dimension, is time. Right? And really, there is no time. It's all one moment. But for the sake of this discussion, the sun has to do with the past. Past life. Clarify this sun. What is being, um, I feel like you're shining light or you're becoming illuminated with something regarding manifesting. This could have to do with time. So interesting. Ace of Wands, yeah, you're going to get excited about whatever you find, and you're going to go forward and be passionate about it. You're going to do something with this information. You're going to act on it. You're not sitting still. Oh, interesting. Wait. Okay, stop and think before you actually act and move. Aquarius. Okay, that's um, like the stop time thing, save time. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, it may sound crazy, but I'm feeling this has to do with time travel. Okay, clarify the magician. The hangman, yeah, see, this is like stopping, right? And justice, this is balance, this is Libra. Yes, okay, this is all happening because the world needs to stop, right, to recalibrate, which is this justice card, okay? Stop it. Calibrating. So something new can manifest, and this has to do with time. But somebody out there who's watching has been researching time and will come across information that will be like an aha moment. And it's during this time period that everybody is sort of stuck, right? Um, not stuck, but in this hangman mood where we have all the time in the world, quote unquote, 
to illuminate ourselves to truth, to what the truth actually is, right? Our experience. So clarify the seven of wands. This is exciting. I like this reading, Aquarius. Tell me about the seven of wands here. Wow. Tell me about the seven of wands here. Tell me about the seven of wands. Excuse my allergies. Tell me about the seven of wands. Six of pentacles. This is a minor arcana to the justice. And the king of swords. Freaking Libra. This is balance, man. They just said cutting to the chase. This also has to be, um, has to do with being two places at once. Uh, what do they call that? Quantum shit. It's a quantum physics thing where you can exist or you can affect somebody uh, that's somewhere else. Quantum entanglement is one. But there's also, it's it's quantum theory, really. Interesting. So, I don't know who this reading is going to make sense to, but this is what they're giving me. They're talking, somebody's finding or researching, or you're going to have an epiphany about being two places at once, right? It's almost like being multidimensional. I'm also getting that. It's like you can see, okay, see the seven of wands. He's at a higher perspective. He's got higher ground, right? Sort of has the upper hand. And this is what I'm feeling here with somebody. Whatever position you're in, it's giving you the upper hand. But this is being purposeful. This is spirit is doing this for you purposely so that you can be illuminated to this information. The eighth sword that has to do with time. Like I'm feeling seriously like a breakthrough in time travel for somebody wow <laughs> okay this is by far the most uh, outlandish reading i've ever received so what advice do we have for you aquarius what advice and for you aquarians that are watching they're saying that i've ever thought about researching time do it chariot go forward right here we have balance again see that balance there's something balance is key to whatever this equation is whatever whoever's working on something okay balance balance is really key here balance of what i have no idea only you would know that Okay, there's two sevens here. So, food for thought, okay, for somebody out there. Two sevens, that's spiritual, spiritually related. Try to incorporate sort of a spiritual end on a scientific slant, right? A spiritual slant on a scientific um, research project you're doing, whatever this is. Okay, think about the spiritual aspect of it. And that may be what's needed to balance something out. Okay, if that makes any sense to anybody. Okay, one more. My God, I think these last readings are like so long. Page of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, heart. I don't know why I'm feeling the heart with this. 
but this could be this spiritual slant on it, right? Because our hearts are all connected. I'm just getting my heart from this. So if this means anybody to anything to anybody, please comment below because I'm curious to find out. Bottom of the deck. Oh my God, really? Six of Cups. Six of Cups is past life soulmate. The path to get. We have both past cards here. All right, Aquarius. Interesting reading. I hope it made sense to somebody. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading that's more specific to you, because this is pretty specific to somebody. Um, information is in the description box below. You have a great day, Aquarius. Good luck with this, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.